in Malaysia. In the toilet. In the toilet. In the toilet. In the car. In the car. In the car. Why why at the OC and not in the OC? Okay, so how to differentiate this? Very mm. easy. Okay, we look at the duration. Okay. All right, duration. For example, if you are at a place for a short period, uh, for, uh, for, for a short time, then you have to use at. For example, TOC. Maybe you are here for eight hours. Okay, five hours. So you have to use at TOC. Okay, but when you leave in a place. It's what for a longer time, right? In Pucho, in Malaysia. So it's based on duration. I'm teaching in TOC. I'm working in TOC. No, no, no. At, at, at. At. I work at TOC. I don't know. You ask teacher lah. Teacher. Working is something. And one more thing. Here we also can use in. Yes. For example, the sentence is like this: I am studying at the resource center in POC. Okay. Yes. When you are at that place, and then you have to use at. I'm at cafe in POC. I'm at POC in PJ. Okay, so that's how you have to identify it. Yeah. All right, and then um, that's why sometimes you can see people use add and in, okay, in the sentence. All right, it's all about the duration anyway. Okay, so you study in university or at university? In university, at university right? Okay, because the duration. So meaning to say okay. the at University Malaya in PJ. Okay, so that's how you differentiate it. All right, so it's all about based on the usage. How in uh, we have to substitute in with at, we have to substitute at with in. Okay. Yeah. Other questions? So working. Yeah. Also, yes. Working also is at. Working. Working. At yes. For duration, eight hours you are working the at. Or do you use in and on? In and on. Okay, in and on. Okay, let's say if it's a particular matter, you're talking about a particular matter, so you have to use on, on the matter, on that particular matter. Okay, so that is the usage of on compared to in. Okay, so in we can use it, but when we are identifying a particular matter. Because like this, uh, subject matter we use at right. So on also the same, right? Because on you also can use on the table to indicate the uh, place, all right? But on we also can use to indicate something like that, okay? The manner, preposition of the manner, they call it, okay? On the uh, particular matter, on the particular issue. Because preposition, there are different types anyway, and the same preposition we can use on other uh, application as well. That's why it's pretty confusing. So the only way for you to understand it, you have to read a lot. So when you encounter the particular situation, automatically you know how someone say you are going to use in work at work without find, uh, without reasoning out. They are saying at work it should be at work. Okay, because they have read and they have encountered the phrase at work. I'm at work. Okay, and only for home we have to use at. That one is something is very unique. We have to use at home. But when you are inside, you have to use in home as well. All right, I'm in the house. I cannot be at the house. 
Okay, because the house. Okay, so that is the difference. When you have, you have to use in and at, and on is actually for a particular matter. When you ask in, in the situation actually. Okay, I'm in the situation. Can we on the situation? Because you are in the situation, but you are talking on the on the particular matter. About on is like about about. Okay, yeah. What's the difference why you say I ride in the taxi and I get on the bus? Get on the bus. You are getting on the bus. On the bus. The taxi. You drive. I ride in the taxi. Okay. But I get on the bus. Okay. You get on the bus. It's like you are getting on the bus. So going, going into, into going into, all right. So on the bus, so you are moving up the bus, right? So that's why we are using on, all right. In but bus. in the taxi, you are sitting in the taxi and you are driving. So in the taxi, you are sitting in the taxi. So you are in the taxi, but you are getting on the bus, getting into it, all right. This public transport. But that's why uh, English is something very unique, right? We cannot compare with our own language. Our own language, we have specific words to be used. But with English, we will use different words for the same matter. Depends on the usage. Okay, and that's the same. That's the same thing like tenses, right? You can say, I um, I eat the uh, biscuit. I am eating the biscuit. Okay, wait. I have eaten. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah? Now, now, now you are moving to tenses. Yeah. I don't think you sh you need to go into the tenses because the question was not on that. Yes, but I'm just telling that. I, I know, but the thing is, because during a question and answer session, you should be shorter in your sentences to allow in your answer to allow for more question. Okay. Right. You understand that? So, so, so don't give too lengthy, just sufficient to answer that particular question. So I think that's sufficient already. Okay. Okay, ask. Is there any other question? Any other questions? <laughs> I get that. Ah, yeah, like that. Come on, come on. Come on. This is your opportunity.